Hey everybody, it's King. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a subscriber, and if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that button and let's get right into it. How to lose weight fast. And it's five proven steps. This is from my personal experience doing these steps. And of course, I really never have been overweight. The, I, I was a little bit chunky as a kid, but when I want to hit high school, I shot up. I'm six foot five. So. I've used these steps here to maintain a slim trim physique including working out and with weights and doing cardio so let's get right into it it doesn't matter your size this is proven to work if you're consistent and you're not lazy just follow the steps exactly and this absolutely works and within 60 to 90 days you should, you should see a major difference in your body and physique so Here's the first thing you want to do. Fasted cardio. Now, fasted cardio is one of the best ways to burn stored fat on your body. You know why? Because you're going to be fasting. The best time to do fasted cardio, from my personal experience, is in the morning. Don't eat breakfast. You get up and head, direct, head straight to the hiking trail, running trail, the track, or jump on a treadmill at the gym. For 30 minutes of running all right 30 minutes of running no don't eat anything okay so I'm, I'm, I'm also lit uh, on the screen you'll see information that's you can read along as I'm talking just to give you some you know let you know some health benefits of what I'm telling you and what what will not be some health benefits in the coming up coming up here in a few, few minutes so fasted cardio is definitely a great way to burn fat and most of you guys are trying to lose weight you're trying to try to trying to lose the fat because I know you probably looked in the mirror and you looked at yourself and say oh my god just like I have and so many other people oh my god look at how I look this is oh this is terrible you know if you don't like how you look naked then do something about it and this is where I'm here to help proven steps so okay Next one is avoid junk foods. Eating a poor quality diet high in junk food is linked to a higher risk of obesity, depression, digestive issues, heart disease, and stroke, type 2 diabetes, cancer, and early death. Now, guys and gals out there, I know we're all guilty of this. It's just too tempting. Now, in your kitchen right now, you may have everything this X is on. <laughs> and that's okay. That's okay. But if you're trying to drop unwanted weight, you have to look at what's causing it. And excess eating this is usually what caused the, causes the, the weight gain. Now, if you've been just sitting around for the last three or four years and put on 80 pounds, I guarantee you've been eating this type of food. You're just sitting there in, in, in activity, too. So make sure you avoid junk foods. If you're trying to lose weight, go to the kitchen. Throw out all the junk food right now if you're serious. Because you want to take the next 90 days. And it's not going to be easy. You have to you have to have control, self control and self discipline. So the big X, if you see it in the kitchen, get it out of there. Give it to somebody else. Maybe somebody's skinny. <laughs> but if you're trying to lose weight, you definitely want to avoid junk food. All right. Reduce or cut out sugar consumption. Now, simple as this. See that Coke to the left right here. Make sure you replace that with a bottle of water. Get you some flavor packs. Get you some something, something that tastes good. Because some of you guys out there don't like to drink water, which I drink water 98% of the time. I maybe snatch up a uh, some sweet tea from time to time. Some of it, but I usually have water and and flavor packs, which you can go to Walmart and buy flavor packs, different flavors, and make the water taste better than just regular water. All right, but sugar. As you see right here, can cause weight gain, may increase your risk of heart disease, has been linked to acne, and type 2 diabetes. And if you're a diabetic, you need to avoid the sugar altogether. But avoid the sugar, cut out the sugar, or greatly reduce the amount of sugar you've been eating. So it goes back to that junk food you saw earlier. Get all that out of the cabinet. Get, out, get the Cokes and soda out, the sweet tea, and then bring in water and healthy whole foods, fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables bring in fruits and vegetables whole foods they will help out 
avoid fried fatty foods. Now, this is going to be difficult for most people in the USA, especially in America, North America. We love that fried chicken, the sausages, that look at that hamburger there. It's wonderful, just tasty. But it, you're going to pay for it, and you're probably already paying for it, looking at your body and how you feel, and you feel bogged down. And what's the what? How do you replace this? And it's not going to be easy. You're going to be eating more fruits and vegetables. I'm not saying cut out all meat. Uh, I'm not saying that. My, me personally, I don't eat meat a lot. I eat 90% vegetables and fruits and uh, like almonds and peanuts, all that that type of thing. Just grown whole fruits and vegetables. Just pretty much anything grown from the earth. You need to avoid the fried, fried fatty foods because it's dangerous. Too much of it over time. I know it tastes good. It tastes wonderful. But look at the effects of fried, fried greasy foods on your body. It may cause bloating, stomach pain, and diarrhea. It may lead to weight gain and obesity. It may increase your risk of heart disease and stroke. It may raise your risk of diabetes. So there's there's really the the benefits are protein. If you're lifting weights trying to bulk up, there are protein benefits. But overall, the long term it, there's no benefits to it and this is true because me being the person I am I love fried chicken and sauce and all that and I'm telling you what it's, it will it will weigh you down to the point where you just the energy not there and here's 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 what you're going to do you want to limit yourself to maybe once a week to to a cheat meal a cheat meal or something like get you get some fried go ahead and get that fried chicken in and all that the rest of the week just what I was saying, fruits, vegetables, peanuts, almonds, uh, anything like that, because what you're going to do, you want your body to have that energy, and that's what those type of foods provide. This will not provide the type of energy fruits and vegetables will, all right? And that's proven. So here's the next important thing you guys and gals need to start doing immediately, and that's incorporate weight resistance training to build muscle. In other words, Join a gym. Join a local gym. Uh, you should have a Planet Fitness nearby. Uh, uh, you know, a Gold's Gym or whatever the nearest gym. I, I advise you guys get a membership and get with a trainer if you do not know how to use the equipment or do the exercises properly. Get with a trainer, and they will work with you. And and also, it's important to have a set time plan meaning what's the best time to work out now if you work full time the best time to do it is before you go to work it only takes an hour 30 minutes of cardio and 30 minutes of weight resistant training or right after work don't go home because if you sit right after work get off work go to the gym because what will happen is if you go home immediately after you get off work you're going to not want to go to the gym. You'll make excuses. You'll, uh, you'll, you'll say, oh, man, I, I'm tired. I'll go tomorrow, and tomorrow will be the next day and everything else. So you want to make sure you're disciplined and get in that gym. Get in the gym. Now, you necessarily don't need to join the gym. You can buy equipment, order equipment from Walmart, order just a weight set of things like that. But you still need to have the correct – you do the correct exercises correctly. So you can, you can YouTube training videos. Right now you're on YouTube. Watch this video. So you could right now Google uh, Google weightlifting exercises, uh, anything, fat burning exercises, anything to help you drop that unwanted weight. Now, weight resistance training builds muscle. And when you build muscle, when that muscle starts to build, it burns calories 24 hours a day. That's proven. Okay, you're not going to see a guy, a guy with a lot of muscle, and the muscle is going to, you can gain fat. You can also gain weight fat. But muscle is going to be more muscle because muscle weighs more than fat. All right. Uh, because fat just looks nasty. But muscle looks much better on your body. Also, I'm telling you, it's going to help out all together. You read here. Read here. And so the best thing to do is to develop a time. Go ahead and develop a training. Develop a, a system of training you want to do. If you want to build muscle and lose weight, then you're definitely going to do cardio and weight resistance training in the same workout. So we're talking about losing weight, so you're definitely going to focus on that faster cardio. 
And then after you do your fasted cardio, go straight to a weight training, 30 minutes. And you might want to separate the body parts. All right. So that's it. This works. It's proven. Give yourself 60 to 90 days to see the results. Then take the next 90 days to actually transform. You should feel better. You should have better stamina, better endurance, better strength, and you should feel, feel healthier. So I want to know right now, uh, you guys comment right now. If you if you try if you watch this video and this video helps you comment, let me know. That's my main reason for the videos is to help you guys because this helped me and also help people I've shared this with that have saw results fast. And I'm talking about fast doesn't mean 30 days. It means 60 to 90 days. That way their body gets in that and the rotation and uh, the habit of the eating habit and the exercising. So once you get the habit down, habit's going to create your desired future and your desired future of health is to keep the weight off and to become healthier and stronger for your family, your children, and for longevity. So if you like this video, click like, click subscribe, and share this with somebody that's overweight and needs to get in shape. And before you share <laughs> and make them, <laughs> the, what they, what are you trying to say, I'm fat? No, don't do that. Make sure if they're asking about what's the proven way to, to lose weight, this is it. It includes diet and it includes what you need to do uh, exercise-wise to see that. This is already proven. It's already, this is proven. I have did this and it works for any body type. So comment below. If you enjoyed the video, comment, let me know. Also comment and let me know uh, what exactly you need to take steps on. Was it fatty foods or whatever? Comment below. I'll get back with you guys. And thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. And I'll be talking to you guys later.